What's up guys? Welcome back to another K5 Chris video. Oh man. So long story short, man, I was working on the C V axle and you gotta drop the ball joint to get it out. And long story short, I mushroomed the bolt. So that happened like at 11 o'clock last night. Alright, so we just got the woes. Actually guys, I just had a way better idea. What if I just got like a grinding wheel for my impact? Oh, get that up. Or like a cutoff wheel for the impact. I mean, it does the same thing, right? So let me see if I can find one of these. I got one right here. I'm not too sure which one of these it gets, so take this one. Yeah. We'll get this. Alright guys, so <clears throat> we picked up like this uh it's pretty much like an angle grinder, but for an impact. So yeah, it's got that little thing on there to go on to your impact or whatever. Then I got this guy. I think this is the one that I'm gonna use. I'll probably return the other one, but it's like a little, I don't know, you see it. It's like a little grinding stone type of deal. Hopefully that works. I already got the extra bolts and everything right here. So yeah, we'll see. Let me show you guys what I've been dealing with. This right here, bro. I could not get it out to save my life. And then me hitting it to try to get it out cause it the mushroom so that's what we got this for and that guy oh man as i already know safety first definitely not the best definitely not good safety glasses but oh my god there we go Guys, you do not know the lengths. I have gone to get this ball joint out, but we did it. We got her out. I had to go rent one of those because I was too lazy to do it um, when I started the project. But I ended up having to do it anyway. And I ended up having to buy that dead blow. And I had to buy a cutoff wheel. And I had to buy a grinding stunt. Like, it was just a whole nine yards. But... We got it out. You guys can clearly see the problem. So now I gotta get those tiny little bolts in the back out. Uh, I can't really get a good shot, but oh yeah, there we go. I gotta get those guys out. Then I gotta pop it out of the differential. Came out easy as pie. Alright guys, so now the issue that I'm running into is that this bearing here is seized. Like this outer ring is like, you know, seized onto the bracket. So I've been prying and prying and prying and prying. Won't come off. I'm not exactly sure what to do now, but I'll keep trying. Oh man. Alright guys, I didn't really film too much of me putting that TV axle in because it was just such a pain in the ass. But as you can tell, I'm absolutely filthy because when I popped the CV axle out, I was like in a terrible spot right underneath the diff and it got all over me. So here I am. I smell like fucking transmission fluid. But now I'm on my way to AutoZone because now I gotta refill the trans. And um, yeah, never again will I ever, ever do that again. Alright guys, it is the next day. And there's no meats or anything like that. So I just kind of had to get, take you out along for a ride. So let's get a cold start on the K5 real quick. Okay, so it's probably not going to be that loud because it's like hot as shit outside, but we'll still get one. I 
I would say that's pretty good. That's pretty solid. So I had one of my subscribers tell me that my cameraman skills ain't that good. So watch me cook real quick. And that subscriber was tough. Doing this all off my iPhone, guys. Told y'all, watch me cook, man. Ready? Insert, edit, right now. Check out this aftermath of doing a CV axe on all that stuff. I mean, that's just ridiculous. But don't worry about that, guys. We'll get that all cleaned up. So if you guys, like, watch my shorts and all that, you saw, like, I have, like, some crazy wheel play. But we have the parts here to fix that. These are tie rod ends. These are outers. This is a new sway bar end link. And this is the stupid little tool you need to get the inner tie rod out. I got this guy because I have a new one on the other side. So might as well just get new all the way around. But just a quick little update. Unfortunately, they're not go fast parts, but it is a necessity. So 